Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here, and today's video is cycling around my neighborhood. So it is the start of my cycling series. Uh, but before that, since this is a cycling video, I wanted to talk about part of my inspiration of doing a cycling series in the first place, and that is the Tour de France. And since that just wrapped up uh, on Sunday of this week, I thought I'd give my thoughts on the tour as a whole, as I've watched pretty much every stage, if I couldn't catch it at 6 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, I'd watch the highlights when they came out later in the day. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say congratulations to Tade Pogacar. Uh, not that it means anything really coming from me, but his individual effort throughout the entire Tour de France, especially in the time trial on stage 20, was an amazing show. Uh, team I feel bad for, I guess, is Jumbo Visma. They had a great tour, and they tried to defend that yellow jersey for so long, but could not get it done. Uh, Sepp Kuss, Tom Dumoulin, uh, Vout Van Ert did a great job of leading out for uh, Primoz Roglic, including the rest of the team. Uh, but in the end, not quite enough to hold on. They all had their own individual accomplishments and gained a lot from this tour, however. Uh, a team that confused me was Team Ineos this year, uh, leaving home Garrett uh, Thomas, probably one of the better cyclists right now. He can't burn out, just couldn't hack it this year. And then uh, once Bernal dropped, Kwiatkowski and... I always forget his name. Came second in the King of the Mountains jersey, though. Uh, they both had a great last five days of the tour. Uh, good to see Richie Port get on the podium. Even with a few strings of bad luck, had a good year. All around a very entertaining tour. And now on to the main part of today's video, where I am going to go over the stats, I guess, from my bike ride around my neighborhood. As that's sort of more personal, I don't want to show the area where I live, so I'm just going to go over stats uh, now. Alright, so now for the ride itself. Uh, I use a map my walk, map my ride kind of an app, so that I know my full analysis of the bike ride. Uh, I went 1.74 miles on today's ride around my neighborhood, and it took me 12 minutes and 26 seconds. Not exactly the fastest time by any means, uh, but there were a few spots along the ride that I did have to stop uh, because I'm riding on a road, so traffic. Uh, my average speed throughout was 8.4 miles per hour. Uh, in the first mile, it was 9.3 where I didn't really have to stop. It was the end that I had to stop a couple of times. In total, the app says I burned around 63 calories, and I started in the same spot as I finished. Uh, but throughout the ride, I did go up 62 feet in elevation. Uh, like I said, my average speed was 8.4 miles per hour. Uh, but my maximum speed, which I did hit twice uh, throughout the ride, was 14.2 miles per hour. So it felt pretty good at the end of the ride, but it was fairly short. Uh, if anyone else wants to share their bike riding stories, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, as for me, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful rest of your day.